Hi guys, Tate James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to install and set up RetroArch on your 3DS. So what you guys want to do just to get this working is first of all, just go and disconnect your 3DS's SD card and then go and connect this to your PC. Right guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to RetroArch in the description of this video. And all you guys want to do is just go over to the download section. Now we just want to scroll down and we are looking for Nintendo 3DS. It should be somewhere on here. Here it is just at the bottom. Now there's two different versions that you can get. You can get the free DSX version. Basically what this is, is a version you'd run off the homebrew channel. Um, so you'd launch it off that. Or you can get the CIA where you can install it to your home screen using an application like FBI. So we are going to get the CIA version. You can choose either one. They both work exactly the same. So we're just going to click it and it's just going to start Start downloading the zip file for us. So when it's finished we will need to go to our downloads folder and just find the zip file that we recently downloaded. Now I also have a game in here, here is Super Mario Bros for the NES. Now it's entirely up to you where you get your games from and it's also entirely up to you what game you choose. As you guys might know RetroArch supports tons of different games um, like Game Boy Advance, SNES, um, Capcom Play System, it supports loads of different stuff but we're going to be using a NES game, we're just going to keep it simple. So first of all let's just get our RetroArch um, zip file, right click and then just select extract here. Okay so once it is finished extracting it's going to give us two files, a CIA folder and a RetroArch folder. But before we copy these across we just need to quickly check on our 3DS's SD card because sometimes um, when you homebrew it it actually comes with RetroArch. Um, as you can see I've got a really old one here from 2015 so I'm, I'm actually just going to delete that. So right click, delete, are you sure you want to delete RetroArch? Yes. So now I'm going to copy across the two new files just so it doesn't screw anything up. Let's just drag and drop these on the root. So 280 megabytes in total. We are going to just wait for this to copy across. Okay, so once it has finished copying across, we now need to copy across our ROM. So you can actually create a ROMs folder on the root like I've got here. Um, so you can use that if you wish or you can put it somewhere in the RetroArch folder. So I think we're going to do that. I'm just going to drag and drop it across for now. Now let's go into the RetroArch folder, right click, new folder. Let's just call it ROMs, games, it's entirely up to you and let's just put our NES game in here. So that is literally it for the PC. We've now set up our SD card. We can now disconnect it from our PC and go back onto our 3DS. Okay, so once we're back off the PC and the files are over on the SD card, we can just put it back into our 3DS. And now we just want to go and power on our console. So what we actually need to do from here is actually install the RetroArch CIA. So mine will be over on FBI, so if you go ahead and just open up that. Now we just need to locate the SD card by pressing A, and then scroll down until you get to the CIA folder, wherever you put your CIA file. And then just press X on it, and then press X on Install CIA, tap Yes, and then just wait for it to install. Press OK to finish, press B to go all the way back to the main menu, and then press Start to exit. It's going to say new software has been added, tap on OK, and we can unwrap it. Here is RetroArch, we want to press A to open it. Now you will need to wait for this to load, as you can see mine is just loading right now, and um, it's just waiting for some stuff, so just give it a couple of minutes. Okay, so once it's loaded, as you can see, it's not the basic version of RetroArch like you would get on the PSP or maybe a few other devices. It's actually the um, kind of like decent version that has a really nice kind of UI to it. So what we're going to do is we are going to load a game. So we're going to scroll down, we're going to go to load core and press A. Now you need to find the core that you've got for your emulator. So mine is a NES game, so we are looking for a NES emulator. So there should be a few on here. Okay, so we've got some different ones. We've got um, FCEUMM, um, Nestopia, Quick NES. I think Nestopia is supposed to be quite good, so we're going to use this one. Press A on it. Now you will need to just wait. It might take up to a minute, so just give it some time. 
Okay, so now it's going to load the core. So what we need to do now is load the game. You will know your core is working if you can just see it on the bottom screen down here. So we're going to go to load content, press A. Go to um, SDMC, press A. Scroll down, we're looking for the RetroArch folder. Um, it should be somewhere on here. Here it is, press on A. Then scroll all the way down and find wherever you put your games or ROMs and then press A. And we're going to press A on Super Mario Bros. NES. Now we can choose the emulator, choose the one we chose, which is Nestopia. Press on A, give it a few seconds and it should hopefully load up our game. Now this should be faster on newer 3DS models, but I'm just using the first ever 3DS that came out. So here we go, it's loaded up. If we turn up the sound, the sound should be working perfectly fine. Let's go on one player. And you guys get the idea, now you can just play the game and it should work perfectly fine. Some of the games might be a bit laggy, it really depends on what kind of game you are playing. So you can simply close out of it just by pressing the home button and um, it's actually given us another package here, um, 2048, I'm not quite sure why it has installed that, I don't know where that has come from, but that is a bit weird, but yeah that is pretty much it for this video, that is how you get RetroArch on your 3DS, this is recommended on the new 3DS, um, it's just a lot more playable I guess, that it's lagless. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure um, where 2048 has come from. Maybe this is a part of RetroArch once you install it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.